Hello, I'm Father Paul of the Celtic Orthodox Church in Australia. Late last night I received another letter from our primate, Bishop Mark, on the latest news with regards to Bishop Paul. It goes like this. Today, Sunday the 17th of September, the Feast of the Stigmata of St Francis of Assisi I celebrated the Eucharistic liturgy in my Bishop Paul's room in the presence of his brother Peter and his wife Stacy. He listened attentively and received the body and blood of Christ with visible joy. Bishop Paul is a true disciple of St. Francis. He tells us that very early in his life he frequently felt his presence. One day, already a religious, he had an appointment with a doctor. When he entered the doctor's surgery, the doctor said to him, No, you're, not, you're, you're alone, not the religious accompanying you. But, doctor, I am alone, replied Bishop Paul. But no, there, it, there, this brother with you, who looks like St. Francis, and there was obviously one with him, but the doctor had perceived this presence as a real for a moment. We continue to talk about the mystery of love and the cross, suffering and joy, poverty and humility, self-giving and truth. Here are a few words I noted that he murmured more than he spoke. The more we consider ourselves sinners, the more we consider ourselves true. We are not afraid of this truth, and when we are in this truth, we are already in God. You don't fear God. I consider myself a great sinner, and yet I am not afraid. I am so at peace. I am so happy. I cannot wait to see the good Lord and his most holy mother, whom I can't wait to see. She is immaculate. Everything created on earth will be immaculate in Mary's image. I can't wait to see her. It's a shame that Protestants don't believe in Mary's intercession. There is salvation through Mary. She is the way that leads to her son. We talk a lot about dying to self, about the blindness of men and of many Christians who believe they are serving God, but who are blinded by the spirit of the world. The prophet Ezekiel prophesied, they have eyes to see and do not see, ears to hear and do not hear. Several times Jesus recalled this image. He who has ears, let him hear. And Bishop Paul said, What joy it is to have eyes to see and ears to hear. He said, Heaven is a death to self. To die to self is to enter heaven. How full of meaning and truth these words were in the last moments of his life on earth. And again, he who is dead to himself has no fear of death. This phrase echoes that of St. Francis in his Canticle of Creatures. Praise be to you, my Lord, for our sister bodily death, from which no living man can escape. Bishop Paul is in constant pain. I used to tell him that he has no longer suffering for his own sanctification, but to save souls. Although he, is, he was impatient to get to heaven, he told me he was willing to suffer as much as the Lord wanted. How great is the mystery of the saving cross! For the language of the cross is foolishness to those who are lost, but to those who are saved. 
to us it is the power of God. How unspeakable the mysteries of love that surpasses all understanding. The sufferings of love are in return an infinite source of peace and joy. He who has ears to hear and eyes to see understands that the Holy Spirit reveals to him. I don't know how many days I'll have to stay with him, but I give thanks for these blessed moments. He tells me that he is happy to have me there. It is undeniable that the Lord grants us a spiritual communion that allows me to express the spiritual testament he didn't have time to write. To conclude this letter, here is in a, here is a prayer of Bishop Mayo, which I think illustrates it well. O good and gentle Lord, look not on the weakness of my will, but the strength of my sincerity. O good and gentle Lord, look not at the weakness of my actions, but the strength of my desire. Good and gentle Lord, look not at the weakness of compassion, but the strength of my love. O good and gentle Lord, through you and in you, May our achieve fulfilment. Amen. May the Lord God be gracious to us and bless us. And through his infinite mercy, may we come to fulfilment. Signed, Bishop Mark Primate. I have also posted on the Facebook group page this letter. For you to read in both French and English. God bless. Please keep praying for Bishop Paul.